as uh, india canada bilateral relationship is very much on the downhill because of the palestine issue when canadian side has alleged that indian agency's role were behind killing of hardeep singh mitchell a uh, dreaded khalistani terrorist whom canada think that he was a political activist now another uh, uh, you know front in khalistani uh, terrorism has opened in london as well uh, when indian uh, high commissioner vikram dorai swami was stopped from entering a gurudwara in glasgow he was there to take part in several cultural activities and uh, he did meet some of the eminent personalities there also and uh, one of the engagement that he had was to go to the gurudwara in glasgow where uh, he was supposed to take part in the langar and uh, uh, he was uh, invited there uh, by the gurudwara prabandh committee there but uh, somehow two three people from the faristani sympathizer group they got to know that indian high commissioner is reaching there and they rushed there they tried to disrupt the event inside the gurudwara also and then they rushed out uh, at the car when it was parking in front of the gurudwara and they asked the high commissioner to stop and go back uh, we could see in those videos uh, when the driver was about to open the door for the high commissioner but because of the threat and intimidation by these khalistani goons he gets back to his seat and turns around and goes back meanwhile we also see that uh, vikram durai swami the high commissioner tries to uh, lock the car from his side and stop them uh, from opening the car door it was quite a uh, threatening situation india raised the issue with the british uh, authorities and the foreign office of uh, uk what happened next was the another khalistani protest that was planned in front of the indian high commissioner in london but this time uh the british officials were pretty alert and there was some security measures that was also implied there uh, a barricade was put on uh, the outer uh, perimeter of indian high commissioner building uh, in london and uh, the high commissioner's building in london doesn't have a huge or long campus that will stop uh, any passer by from entering or kind of attacking the building so it was a barricade on the pavement that was put there and uh, the khalistani protesters were kept on across the the street so on the other side they kept on chanting and indian slogans that anti uh, threat and intimidation uh, tactics for the indian diplomats but uh, that is something that brings to the fore uh, the issue of entire khalistani nexus which is uh, kind of being allowed to operate in certain countries like canada uk us and australia these are four countries where issue of khalistani terrorism has been a uh, very uh, vocal and kind of uh, threatening for indian diplomats in the recent past india has raised the issue with all of these countries uh, while canadian authorities for obviously a uh, reason uh, domestic uh, political reason they uh, were reluctant in acting against uh, these uh, terrorists uh, we have seen some assurances coming from australian government uh, us also saying that they will uh, look into uh, the issues of uh, khalistani terrorists and they do not support any violent uh, group in the name of uh, freedom of speech and expression london authorities also has given assurances to the indian uh, government especially ever since uh, earlier in the earlier this year when uh, some of the khalistani members tried to breach into the building of uh, london high commission one of them also pulled down the indian tiranga and tried to disrespect it in this couple one of the diplomat was injured as well so it it became kind of a very uh, flared up situation and uh, uk authorities did realize the fact that uh, there is a clear threat and violence and intimidation from these khalistani terrorists and they are no more just a social or political activists trying to raise their voice for some cause they are real violent extremist agents and uh, there has been some sort of security that has been extended to the indian diplomat and indian communities also there but despite all these uh, we continue to see a rise in a uh, threat Uh, on social media various platforms of social media are also trying to propagate uh, indian diplomats as a part of india's larger conspiracy uh, or larger uh, you know network that is kind of uh, doing extra judicial uh, things to these khalistani terrorists in fact the indian high commissioner vikram dorai swami's name was also uh, put on a social media poster uh, and he was blamed for the killing of hardeep singh nichar earlier this year in the month of june in one of the gurdwara in sare in canada Uh, and these are the tactics that has, we have also seen happening in Australia, where the high commissioners uh, were threatened and intimidated by these Khalistani terrorists. So uh, clearly, India has raised the issue with certain authorities, but uh, we'll have to see how much of uh, these countries are actually going to work on the ground to stop and check these Khalistani agents from, uh, you know, uh, you know, going ahead with this, uh, this, their terror and threat 
activities against Indian diplomats because uh, the issue is now very flared up uh, with Canada. In the background, UK authorities also need to keep a check on these Khalistani violent agents uh, or the bilateral relationship will clearly have a repercussion as we have seen a, a huge diplomatic phase of that is already going on between India and Canada and the Indian government is not uh, taking the entire allegation or entire blame game or diplomatic game uh, lying down and uh, that could very well be the case with other countries as well if these countries or these elements in those countries are not kept under check by the authorities or the administration in, the, in those countries.